Good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. On performance and now here comes the response Jim, how are you reading the formation? Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. the whistle and here we go Jim who do you reckon is pivotal yeah David Alaba one of the most versatile players out there he's just got so much positional awareness and intelligence has a hit he's done very well to get to that well that was high class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high class wage Should have done better, and he knows it. Immobile certainly could have and should have made more of that. <laughs> Sabitza. Leiva. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Immobile. Chiesa looking for space out wide and he's straight offside Labour Austria ran themselves into the proverbial cul-de-sac there Decent looking ball. It's Immobile! Great build up. It all deserved a better ending. Immobile fully deserves the plaudits for setting up the chance. Austria have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Dragovic. Italy apply all the early pressure. 
Yeah, whether they've been allowed to set the standards or not, they're setting them, and a goal has to follow. Verratti takes control of enemies on the move. A real ch Immobile! Oh, that was no routine save. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Alaba. Sabitza gets wrestled off the ball. That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. Top save! That shot was travelling. It's Baumgart Klinger. Labour. It has got. It's Sabitza! Barella. Labour. With the slight tackle there. And Maltovic. Plenty of endeavour from either side, but not much of it in the vicinity of either goal yeah and it's been like a, a breath of fresh air to their attack I think that switching of flanks has, has finally created a new and, and for me much more dangerous dimension Hinterega hoists it forward he's had a lot Sabitza Challenge, but fair enough. Insignia battles to win it back. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Labour. And it's Alaba. Florenti sticks in a foot to win it back. That's good progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? Immobile was alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Yeah, it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Dragovic. It's an entertaining game, this. Both teams have had chances, but it is still nil-nil. Barrera. Alaba. In the end, they found themselves penned in, nowhere to go. And it's Jorginho. And Maltovic. And the counter is on. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Lorenzo Insigne. And here's Immobile. There's the end of the first half. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Reflections on the first half? Yeah, it's a half that's had a, a limp finish after a decent start, so the manager has to re-energise and re-enthuse his players to come back out pumped. Italy head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight, cagey game the team any further forward than they were when they started out and if you're just back from your break you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half well that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped lots of oh he's got that all wrong and it's a penalty and that really is the last thing they wanted to do well 
it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. A time for a cool head, and that is precisely what he showed. Well, the keeper probably felt he could read that, but he's guessed completely wrongly. He's gone to the other side. Austria draw first blood here. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half time, it's worth the treat. Promising move that good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Arnautovic. And the shot! Decent enough try. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Barrera, Benucci, Florenzi, Chiesa, Barrera, Jorginho, unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Chiesa looking to get on the end of this. And the through ball is intercepted. Marco Verratti. It was a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Bonucci plays it forward. Lazzaro. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. <laughs> and it's Arnautovic. And Arnautovic! Good strike, quite an alarm. And here's Immobile. And the weighted pass. Goes for goal! Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Well, hit and hope is just a bit. Barella concedes a free kick for that. And they've been caught out here. He's away. Just the keeper to beat. Immobile. They've scored. That was a given. It always was. Immobile is the obvious danger man here, and yet he was afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for them.
And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, I think this is a case of anything you can do, we can do too. I mean, they're matching each other like for like here. Alaba. Swallow. Shot at goal! Not this time. Italy can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. And it's played forward. Barrera. Chiesa. And here's Florenzi. And helps available out wide. Dragovic gets it away. Oh, real danger here! That's great strength on the ball. And that has been cleared. Insignia with a shot! Goal at his mercy, and somehow he's missed it. Well, we could be headed for a scenario in which next goal is the winner. That chance could have been it too. Dragovic. Leyma. Sabitza. Just brushed off the ball there. Berati gets rid without sophistication. Still anyone's game this. One moment can decide it. It's a very open game and an exciting watch. There are no signs of nerves or, or caginess from either team. This pitch is go-for-it territory right now. Decent ball. Oh, that's not going to find its target. That's it, Jorginho! And no, he couldn't find the finish. Oh, that's neat. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And it's Immobile. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here although there's still a chance for one last fling oh that's clearly not what he wanted to do steered forward and that's that well a game that had everything except a winner really watchable and honors even well, what are your thoughts on today's game then jim italy certainly